Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. An Oklahoma earthquake made national news this past week, one of the strongest we've ever recorded here. The magnitude and frequency of the earthquakes raises plenty of questions. And for some answers, we recently caught up with Paul Weckler, our ag engineer who specializes in structures. Well, hopefully that's not going to happen, but uh, I lived almost 25 years near the San Andreas Fault in California, and so we had to be prepared for the big one. And uh, of course, safety, uh, you know, protecting uh, your loved ones uh, is uh, the first priority. And if the big one happens, uh, you need to be aware that uh, you could have gas leaks. Most houses uh, here in Oklahoma have natural gas or propane, and those uh, can uh, develop leaks, or you can even have the lines break. Uh, extreme structural damage. Uh, if, uh, say, your uh, chimney collapses uh, into your house or, uh, or you're in an older uh, masonry brick building that uh, is fairly common in some of the small towns in Oklahoma in their old downtown sections, those buildings, a lot of them are not uh, built to modern uh, building codes and, and those can uh, have severe structural damage and even, even collapse. So, uh, so there is uh, life-threatening dangers if the big one hits. It seems like we talk about earthquakes almost every day. There's, it seems like there's mm -hmm. one happening in Oklahoma in that 3.0 to 4.0 range. Mm -hmm. When those are happening, what do I need to be mindful of as a, as a homeowner? Well, first of all, you should keep uh, real current and up to date on the status of your house and, and just continually monitor it and check it because here in Oklahoma we have uh, uh, soils that shrink and swell with moisture and after the drought uh, a lot of people had damage due to shifting of their foundations and then this past year's plentiful rain uh, uh, caused the ground to swell and so so that can uh, cause damage to your home and so so you need to be able to determine if uh, any damage uh, like this crack right here occurred uh, due to an earthquake or due to the ground shifting uh, because of uh, moisture in the soil. And so this is a very common occurrence. Uh, this is really cosmetic because most of these houses uh, built like this uh, with a brick veneer, this is not structural. Underneath this brick there is uh, two by fours, two by sixes, and wood framed uh, structure that is really the best for earthquakes because because that wood can flex uh, and kind of ride out the earthquake. But the problem is the brick doesn't flex very well. And so whether it's the ground moving due to droughts or too much moisture or the ground moving due to earthquakes, you will see cracks like this occur. And you can see it comes down through where the natural gas pipe comes in. And so that's a, that's a very common occurrence. Uh, and uh, I have some of those cracks in my my house. You'll also see cracks on the inside uh, uh, around doorways. Uh, sheet rock will crack uh, if the house moves too much. Think on the farm or the ranch you need to look at some of the, your, uh, your grain storage and other uh, uh, type buildings. Also any water storage or water piping systems may be damaged, uh, the pipelines uh, due to the ground movement in an earthquake. In Oklahoma we're used to weather phenomenons, our houses are pretty built pretty solid, right? Right, we have to endure the high winds of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. And so the modern building codes require the, the, the frame of the house to be attached well to the slab or the foundation. Uh, the roofs need to be attached uh, properly. And so Oklahoma, you know, has uh, requirements uh, due to the, uh, you know, severe weather situation that, uh, uh, you know, makes our houses fairly, fairly strong. Now we uh, don't design typically to the uh, to the stringent earthquake standards that they use in California. Hopefully we won't have to do that, uh, but uh, um, our houses usually are pretty good shape. Okay, Paul Weckler, great information on earthquakes, and we'll see you again soon, thank you. Thank you.